up everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm paris and i make videos all about candle making and the starting and managing of my small candle business lady simone candle co and in today's video i'm going to show you how i pack my samples Well, first let's talk about why I chose to do samples in the first place. When I first started my candle business, COVID-19 really hit us hard earlier this year and it kind of put a wrench in my plans. I originally wanted to do like a small get together and like a, like a small intimate launch party just to kind of get the word out a little bit about my business and COVID-19 kind of stomped on that a little bit so when i decided to just go ahead and still launch my business i was trying to think of a way to introduce other scents in my line to people that placed an order so i said well what better way to do that than to include samples right so i do that in a way through wax melts so when someone places an order and whatever order that they have, whatever scent that they have, whether that's in a wax melt or a candle, I include a small sample of a scent that they did not order. So it's another way for me to market other scents in my line, get the word out about other scents, and hopefully they will spread the word like, hey girl, look, her candles are bomb. And she includes a little sample in there as well, and that smells bomb. So I was just like, hey, I'm gonna just do it that way. And hopefully soon I'll be able to um, get out there to farmer's markets and other festivals and you know, kind of make my presence and my footprint here in my city. But until then, I'll just include samples. And honestly, I've been getting a lot of feedback from customers already. And they love the fact that I have like a little extra treat. They look at it like a little extra small bonus gift and who doesn't like an extra little free gift in their orders right so i do that by way of wax melts and today i'm going to show you how i pack my little samples in preparation for orders so i brought you down here with me so you can get a little better view um so here is how my final wax melt packaging looks like this is what it looks like when someone places an order for a wax melt. They get six cubes, two, four, six here, and it's packaged like this in their order. However, I not only make enough to sell whole like this, but I also make enough um, unlabeled, no warning label, no packing label, no packaging label, and I just have the regular blank clamshell. I make tons of these in all my fragrances to then chop up into cubes like this. I break them up into cubes like this. So what I do is after I make tons of wax melts to sell and I stock, then I work on samples if I need to restock up on samples. What I do is I open and I'm not gonna cut this up guys because this is one that I'm actually selling. Um, but I, what I do is I pop out the entire um, mold here and it, it comes out in these little cubes here. Sometimes um, if I need to, sometimes they pop right out and they break on their own. Um, however, if I need to break them up, what I do is I just get my little cutting board here and I get a butter knife that I do not plan to reuse and I just cut them up to where I can get six cubes and they end up like this, separated into six cubes. Now, everyone gets two wax melt samples per sample. And so basically I can get three samples out of one full wax melt one whole wax melt I can get three samples out of it now what I use to package my samples are these cute little pillow boxes I got this off of Etsy I will leave the store the link below but I was trying to think of a way that can kind of go along with my brand of you know clean black gold and white are my colors something that kind of fits my personality and fits the overall vibe of my brand 
Now, originally, I had them packaged in these. This was what I originally had them packaged in. Super cute, right? Easy, convenient. I got these little plastic bags off of Amazon, and then I just created my labels and printed these out at home. So at least people can kind of see my logo, they can see the fragrance that they're ordering and the name of the fragrance. However, what I did not like, what I started to not like about these little plastic bags was, I'm gonna see if I can zoom in, but you see kind of how the wax melt, the wax kind of um, spreads on the plastic. And I'm all about presentation and I just did not like how that looked. And it can't help it, right? Because they're wax melts. <laughs> so they're, it has kind of that glossy, oily feel to them. And so naturally they're just, no matter how careful I put them in there, when they're going around in the shipping box and all that stuff, it's bound to just kind of spread its wax. So I have tons of these already made, guys. <laughs> So right now I'm still going through these with my orders and I'm just going to use these up, but I'm slowly transitioning into these cute little pillow boxes. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you how I package them in my pillow boxes once I get through the transition of using these. So I, what I do is I go ahead and I fold in this, the one of the sides here and it creates a little in, in, entrance right there and then I just gently place two wax melts in there it's just enough to fit two so I thought they were perfect this these little pillow boxes were perfect and then I just fold in fold in the other side and it looks like this cute I thought these were adorable and then I take one of my labels here and my label fit perfectly right there and so when someone places an order they get one of these in their shipping box as well and so again, this is just another marketing tactic that I thought would be great because nobody can really come out and smell your scents. Like, I mean, now things are starting to, things are opening up and we're kind of getting out there. But when I originally launched, we were still kind of going you know, shut down and I did not want to, you know, present myself physically you know to the public and invite people to come out and try my scents and have like a little cute candle party or something like that and people will be leery to come which I completely understand because of what's been happening so I said well what better way to to get my uh, business off the ground than to include um, a little extra treat for them for free and um, I get three wax, I can make three samples out of one and people can get a bonus, they can smell other scents. They can also, I can turn them into wax melt lovers because they probably never use wax melts, right? So this is just another way to kind of get them intrigued with what my business is all about. So there you have it guys. I just wanted to um, film a quick video on how I pack my samples. Um, a few of you guys were curious via social media and I kind of directed them to my channel and say, hey, I actually plan on making a video on how I pack my samples considering how much curiosity I've been getting um, from social media and just people asking me different marketing questions. And guys, I'm new to marketing too. I'm still trying to figure this out myself, but this is a this is one good way to start <laughs> with introducing people to your line so um again and i found these on etsy and i just thought they were perfect and don't get me wrong these are perfectly fine too i think i got like a hundred of these for dirt cheap on amazon and actually these little pillow boxes were very inexpensive off etsy as well and i bought a hundred of these so you know i just buy a hundred at a time 
And once I use this box of my samples up, I cut all these here. Once I use these up, then I'll begin to transition into using these. But in the meantime, I'm gonna use these up because these were my original samples and I love them at first until I started to see how the wax was kind of spreading around. I'm like, mm, that's not cute. I'm all about presentation. So we're just gonna, we're gonna switch that out a little bit. Thanks again for tuning in. If you have any other ideas that you would like me to do for my channel, just let me know. Leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, bye.